Hi guys, I'm Dal Gurdam and this is day 18 of Lead Code Purity Challenge. In this short video, I will show you the intuition and the C++ solution of today's Lead Code Purity. Today's question is remove subfolders from the file system. So we are given a list of folders and we have to return the folders after removing all the subfolders and we can return this answer in any order. We will be able to understand what this question is trying to say by looking at the first solved example. So in this example, we are given five folders in the form of strings and we have to remove the folder a slash b because its parent which is folder a already exists in the list and we have to remove the folder c slash d slash e because its parent c slash d is already there in this list. We cannot remove c slash f because its parent c is not there in the list. At the end, we have to return these three folders which are a, c slash d and c slash f in this output. The first intuition that comes to my mind is to store all these strings in a map or a set and then to iterate on these individual strings and check if any of its parent is there in the map or the set and if that is the case I'm not going to add this string in my output and if that string parent is not there in the map I'm going to add that string in my output. You can also save the space of storing these strings in a map or a set by looking at a very small and simple intuition. The intuition is let's say I have only two strings in my array and one of the strings is the parent of another string. In this case, if I sort this array of strings lexicographically, I am sure that the parent will come at the zeroth position and the child will go at the first position. I can use this intuition and say that if I sort this whole array of strings and in that case, if any strings parent exists in this array, it is going to exist just before that. So I need not check all the strings in the map or a set. I can only check the previous string and if that previous string is a parent, I need not add that string in my output. But if the previous string is not a parent, in that case, I should add that string in my output. In the solution, I'm sorting these folders in the alphabetical order. And then I'm pushing my first folder in my answer because I don't have any previous folder to compare it with. Then I'm iterating through this, these folders from the first folder to the last folder. And then I'm checking if that previous folder is a parent to this folder. If that is the case, I'm skipping this folder and not adding it into my uh, answer. Otherwise, I'm adding it in my answer. 